we started looking at SLT about 1998, 1999, actually before it was approved in the United States. And uh, it was approved in the United States about in 2001, and we've been doing them ever since then. Um, we do quite a few of them, so it's in terms of thousands. Uh, certainly at least 5,000, don't know if we hit the 10,000 mark or not. One of the challenges is in treating glaucoma patients, when we start off, these patients do not have symptoms, typically. And yet we have to do something to protect their vision. So if there's something we can do that minimally impacts their quality of life today, yet helps keep them seeing for the rest of their life, that's what we want to do. And the advantage of SLT is it's not something they have to do every day. It's not something that they'll have side effects from. It provides a better quality of life. And not only that, the issues of compliance with medications, all those issues, all those problems go away. SLT can have a role at various stages in managing glaucoma. Certainly the impact of SLT is greatest early on when we use it as the first treatment. However, even if patients are on medications or even if they've had filtering surgery in the right patient, SLT can make a difference. And again, the question is, what are your alternatives? The, one of the upsides of, of SLT is, is that the risk-benefit ratio is so favorable for it. So if it doesn't work, you can always go on to the other steps, but take a look, see what the history shows, but for certain patients, even after filtering surgery, it can be considered. Over the years, the, there have been a number of studies that have suggested that using SLT as primary therapy would be as good as some of our medications, such as prostaglandin analogs. Now, Dr. Katz's group did a large multicenter study that looked at it and really definitively confirmed what we already knew, and that is in some patients, in fact in many patients, early on as a first line of therapy, SLT can be very effective. And again, for those patients, that may be all they need. So depending on the stage of the disease, the life expectancy, having that option available, discussing it with our patients, letting them know that that's an option is really important. One of the nice things about the various studies on SLT is they're not coming from one center. They're not even coming from different parts of our country. They're coming from different parts of the world. And they all have the same message, that used as primary therapy earlier on in the disease process, that's where we see the greatest impact of this laser. And in our practice, we've seen the same. And when it was first introduced, we used it as the last step. But as we've gotten more comfortable with the technology, and it's really moved up and is often appropriate as the first line of therapy for the appropriate glaucoma patient. There are many different types of glaucoma. The most common type is opening of glaucoma. And most of these will respond well to SLT. As a primary therapy, it's certainly something we consider. Now, for example, in exfoliative glaucoma, that's a very specific type of opening glaucoma, occasionally those patients may respond a little bit more to that first treatment of SLT. But the bottom line is, on average, most patients will have some response. When comparing the options and managing patients, we don't like to do surgery with a knife. So given a choice, we usually look at medications or laser treatment. One of the big challenges with medications is you have to do it all the time, at least once a day, and that's with our better medications. They all have side effects, even our best medications. So that's one option, and that has some challenges for many patients. And then they have to find a way to pay for it every month. With SLT, when appropriate, when we use it and it works, we know that that pressure has been lowered. We don't have to worry about a patient doing something every day. We don't have to worry that the patient's going to try to figure out whether to treat their heart one month and their eye one month because they can't afford the medication. So SLT provides a very nice alternative for many patients.